is important one and when I when I have no relationship. No no relationship at all. Mm -hmm. Um whenever it's like when I was a child you know, my always did back and forth, back and forth like my mother yard, my father yard, my always did a big like cat cat and I never get a mother's love. I never get a mother's love. I think my mother always eat me and my mother that she loves my ass on me and she always brag about me and I think remember at one point, you know, my mother used to tell me that she was for weak news and you know people probably hard for weak and they look at somebody and he did an iron in uniform for God's school and she make him burn me. I have the mouth from the same way. He burn me with the iron. I say, all right, but that my one daughter do this, do that, do that. I never, she never give me that attention. She just did only did it, like to give me food, food wise. Which, giving a child food, that is not love, because anybody can pick up a child and give a child food. Food to the poor bees, mustard seed bees. Everybody can pick up a child and give a child food. I just wish if she did like a mother child. She just did there and say, this is all the world's fear, this is all man's fear. You yeah, grow up, you yeah, get mature, things that I'm fear. This is what. You know what? I've been like, my little child for just comforting for tell her anything. I'm afraid to tell my mother things on me, little. But my father, even though he never has money like my mother, he did always did it to me, always emotionally. And then some of them did always a child for them to teach me little stuff. When you're 15 and you look at my mother and say, Mommy, I always want to be one liar, you know, and you know, when I get up at things, you know, like I'm getting even a little cancer, also, I don't want to go to law school, so I don't say that time it's 18, you know, pour me at work. Then, how oh, can you say that to your child, your when a child with your birth out, if that time if she's 15, 18, if she's not poor, she at work. Then, what you mean, expect you? As a man, for having me out there for those. Just but I abuse me, I mean, I think that's the love because my mother never showed me no love. <sighs> me, that man, because me, they just want love. I'm not telling about no lie. I just didn't want love. And I didn't get it because they didn't hug me. They didn't need to think that I love because never my mother would hug me and tell me get up every day and tell me say she didn't love me and then somebody. My mother put me out at the age of 15, over one little like phone, and I didn't have to catch all oh, boys. But just never did. I don't remember the point there. I know. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. You're still here. You're still here on, on the planet, on Earth. Still alive. What do you want to say to your mom? Can I say something to her directly through our cameras right now? I have nothing to say because she has two children. My mother is a type of mother like this, you know. We can't say nothing to her because if we do do something and it run, instead of mother sitting around and talk to me, she call the whole her contact them and tell her contact. My mother is very embarrassing. I have nothing to say to her mother. I just wish if she was a mother in our life, if she does. Things that I would do it, but no one said without. You see why it's impressive for you to talk? I tell you, Winter, why the impact of this interview will be different than maybe hundreds that you've done is because the message is so much deeper than her just being a comedian on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a child that's hurting. A child that needs help and love. And there are many, 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 too many of them out there. Too many abused children are among us. So we see this young lady, she's on nine and she's trying to 
to make jokes. Yet she's always burning with, with feelings of not wanted, of wanting love and not getting love. And, you know, everybody's getting this big laugh out of it. But she's, she's a child that's been hurting. And we hope this will change. This, this moment will change and we, she'll get the, the, the critical attention that she needs to make her life better going forward. And um, I don't even know, my critic, if I should ask you anything more. I don't want to ask you anything more, but you're free to say anything that's on your mind right now. something to to change the relationship with her daughter and to understand once and for all that she needs your love mommy that's what we leave it for this week Winford Williams on behalf of all of us thanking you for joining